There are profound implications and unanswered questions that arise when we consider the prospect of living in a simulated universe. If our world is a computer simulation, its creator or creators remain a mystery. Maybe it's a super civilization. Maybe it's a computer program with infinitely running simulations. Some theorists speculate that future generations will have access to supercomputers powerful enough to run detailed simulations of their ancestors, suggesting that most minds, including our own, may actually be artificial constructs. However, this begs the question of who these simulations are meant to benefit and what their point is. Septics, on the other hand, point out that the simulation argument isn't backed up by any hard data. They say it is still just speculation until we provide proof. It would be impossible to determine the nature of existence, even if we were living in a simulation, because all we would know would be the rules and limitations of that simulated reality. Whether or not we are in a simulation is an intriguing and puzzling question. It makes us think critically about the extent to which our knowledge and perception are limited. The simulation argument is intriguing, but we need to approach it with a healthy dose of scepticism and modesty. We may one day have conclusive answers to these existential questions if we continue to push the limits of technology and explore the frontiers of science. We should keep our minds and hearts open to the unknown until then and never stop exploring and learning. It's crucial to accept the observable and quantifiable truth rather than trying to force our preferences and assumptions onto the world. We can learn more about the cosmos and ourselves only if we push ourselves to the limit. Our investigations into the world have taught us to value the mystery and wonder of the unfathomable. The mysteries we face daily are a reminder of the scale of the universe and the bounds of our knowledge. While the insights of neuroscience and philosophy are helpful, and the idea of a simulated universe stimulates our curiosity, we must keep in mind how little we actually know. This lack of information is what compels us to learn more and expand our horizons. The unknown compels us to keep wondering, to test the limits of our understanding, and to welcome the future's unknowns with open arms. It serves as a sobering reminder that progress towards knowledge is a never-ending process that necessitates a commitment to ongoing self-improvement. Let us not lose sight of the importance of awe and the thrill of discovery as we make our way through the complexities of actual life. The insatiable curiosity of humans has prompted unprecedented progress throughout the ages. We can tap into our natural inclination to discover the truth about our world if we approach its mysteries with awe and curiosity. Our quest for knowledge has the potential to reshape our view of the world, whether we're investigating the finer points of quantum mechanics or musing on the origins of consciousness. So, let us enjoy the wonder of our curiosity about the unanswered questions and the mysteries of the universe. Together, our inquisitiveness and exploration will lead us to the secrets of the cosmos. As we wrap up this fascinating investigation into the world and reality itself, we are reminded of the vastness of human curiosity. The fields of neuroscience and philosophy shed light on these questions, while the mystery of a computer-generated universe tests our ability to think critically. The need to figure things out is ingrained in the human condition, prompting us to test limits, challenge beliefs, and look for answers. This quest is how we learn new things, gain new perspectives, and find answers to the big questions that have always plagued us. So, let us keep welcoming the unknowns that await us and never stop probing them. By working together, we can decipher the world's mysteries, expand our horizons of knowledge, and create a better future for all of humanity. We appreciate you being a part of this eye-opening investigation into the nature of reality and the universe. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video to be interesting and thought-provoking. Keep asking questions, 
checking out new places and looking for answers as we continue to probe the world around us. Together, we have the potential to discover the world's most extraordinary secrets and the adventure of learning awaits us. Accept the mystery of what lies ahead and may your journey of discovery be one that never ceases to amaze. Many of us take the things we perceive to be true without questioning whether or not they actually are. However, neuroscientific evidence contradicts this view. It appears that our minds construct the world we experience based on data gathered from our senses and our memories. Our everyday lives take place in a world that corresponds to this model of reality. Using this model, informed by both past experience and current sensory data, our brains can predict what will happen next. But how reliable is this model really? Is it possible that we are experiencing a distorted reality as a result of our own minds? Optical illusions are evidence that the human brain is easily fooled and that our senses are not always accurate. However, a different perspective can be found in philosophical writings. It posits the idea that reality exists outside of our heads and bodies. This view holds that there is an objective reality out there that continues to exist whether or not we are present to observe it. But this begs the question, how can we know anything at all about reality if our senses are unreliable? Philosophers have struggled with this conundrum, dubbed the problem of knowledge, for centuries. Using one's rational faculties to deduce the truth could be a solution. The use of logic and empirical evidence allows us to draw conclusions about the world that are independent of our individual perspectives. However, this method is not without its flaws, as human reasoning and observation are not infallible. Where does that leave our perception of the world then? It would appear that neither neurology nor philosophy can paint the whole picture. But what about quantum theory, which sounds so interesting? Quantum theory has been determined by metaphysical doubts since its inception in the 1920s. Particles at the subatomic and atomic levels are found to have weather-like and particle-like characteristics by quantum mechanics. The physics community has been deep in discussions about the limits of human knowledge. Even ancient philosophers, like Parmenides, pondered the illusionary nature of the world we see and argued that true reality is reachable through reason beyond our senses. It is necessary to investigate the universe's most elemental constituents if we are to grasp its true nature. Small particles like electrons, quarks, and neutrinos are taught to be the building blocks of matter and chemistry. These tiny particles are thought to be the building blocks of all matter. But that's not the end of the tale. Beyond elementary particles, space and time itself can be thought of as the cosmos' fundamental building blocks. In Einstein's general theory of relativity, space and time are joined into a single fabric called space-time. Gravity, among other things, emerges from the dynamic interplay between matter and the curvature of space-time. But new findings have prompted scientists to speculate that information itself may be the fundamental substance upon which the universe is built. In quantum mechanics, information is essential because it can be interpreted as a measure of systemic uncertainty. In order to encode a three-dimensional space onto a two-dimensional surface, the holographic principle posits that information is the fundamental fabric of space-time. The more we investigate the unfathomable nature of reality, the more we are forced to face the paradox of the human mind. While neuroscience seems to point to the brain as the source of our consciousness, philosophical arguments fever the existence of a subjective observer. But how does consciousness emerge, and how does it relate to the brain's physical processes? In light of these perplexing questions, the idea of living in a computer-generated simulation of the cosmos enters our minds. The idea that our lives are all just a simulation has gained traction in science fiction, 
and has been discussed by philosophers and physicists. It has been argued that the likelihood of our existence within a fundamental reality is extremely remote. 